Okay. So... I don't know if that fixed anything. Fingers crossed, I guess. Um... So... Give me a sec. Um, anyway, back to this. Um, I did notice I got a new follower. Thank you for following me, Toffin96. So, um, back to this. If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, yeah. do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming, her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to sedate her. When we limited her medication, what? she simply what reverted to her former Vicodin? state. Her natural state. On steroids or something? What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open, she thrashed, her screams. Well, we had to gag her eventually. My God. I know. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. Yeah. Anyway, what about the grandmother? So, I had a grandmother. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same, word for word. Patricia's mm -hmm. case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck ah. her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. Mm-hmm. Um, links? You couldn't find any other link between the two cases. None, aside from the family connection. And uh, a name. A name? What name? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal, but there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name... Joey! Your aunt, too, would cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So what should not? I do? Right now, nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. Mm -hmm. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware, is all. And come talk to me if, well, there's any concern. Okay. Is there anything else you need to tell me before, before I go? I go. Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the next of kin, you're the beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. all right. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now, so feel I, free to I kind of like the guy's pose. I'm he kind of got like a my Phoenix movie. Wright sure. objection look going on about it. So, yeah. There is an achievement I'm going to kind of keep an eye on, I try to get, which is not to talk to um, the main character, one of the main characters, side characters, but whatever. You'll see them when I talk, in a second. I'm not ready for... Yeah. Griff is fine where he is. Yeah. Oh. Looks like it's from Bellevue. Let's see here. Dear Laura, so you have been at NYCYU for two weeks now and have called. I'm sure you're busy, Big Apple, in the Big Apple. 
Jack starts high school on Monday, so he's a bit nervous now how he gets, you know how he gets, uh, but be sure to write him a letter. He messes his big sister, I admit. I am still a bit nervous about you living in New York by your, all by yourself. You are carrying ID with you. You go out when you go out, like I asked, over, um, you know me. Just beat a mom. Uh, someday somebody has to keep your head on straight, as your dad would say. Uh, and remember that you're, you you have a family back home that misses you. Love you, mom, and dad, and Jack. Hello, sis. I'm writing. Blah blah blah. Oh, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Well, this one's from 1960. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is basically for the... This is what the the main character's... Um, Um, this, these, okay, so, um, yeah, the main character from, the, the main character's aunt, who we do deal with in a later game, I do plan on trying to play this whole game, I might start later Saturday night, and I might continue this game. Just because I want to try to finish, I want to try to get through all four of the games of all the month through October. And I don't know how long each game is. So, anyway, uh, but each one of these are letters from um, Laura's dad, brother, and or mom or something. So, yeah. So I'm gonna just, uh... Yeah, I'll go through all these and hold them for a few minutes so people can read them later, but, um... Yeah, I, I'm, um... But it looks like after a bit... There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter. Oh. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, here it is. The Law Office of Drunken... Dunker... Drunk, Dunker in Goldberg. And within legal rights. Five-year-old niece. And with the death of her parents, you are the only living relative. Please contact our office and we'll start this paperwork. Okay. Hold off, just for a second. So, this is the main character's dad, the mo the his her grandmother, and the and her aunt. So, what's going Hello? on? Hello, Ms. Angelina. Hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time, for once. Yeah. I've got yeah. a little assignment for you today. Of course you assignment? do. Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. Well, that's awful, but... Um, you know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, yeah. but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too, and hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Yeah. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps yeah. me writing, but... Oh, whatever. Yeah. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Yeah. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. Yeah. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Mm, there's the notes. You can now use Rosa's notepad, notebook to access the notebook cursor blah, okay. 
I don't want to ruin the picture. Yeah. I assume that's my mother. Yeah. She sort of looks like me, I guess. Yeah. Other than that, she's a total stranger. Is that my dad? He looks so young. Hmm. I always pictured my dad as being older. That's definitely Auntie yeah. Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. And now I think I can look at the other one pretty well. So, let's see here. Nope, no I cannot. So, yeah, as you can kind of see, this game kind of follows a uh, peculiar story so far. And we have yet to come across a ghost. So, um, yeah, don't don't worry. We'll get to the ghost here soon. Ugh. Yeah. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. Hey, knock on one of the doors. I'm sure you can score something. Look for the one that smells There's like skunk. Home. Um. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Hi, yeah. I'm Rosangela Blackwell with the Village Eye. Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? Yep. You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. Yep. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm, well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? Agreed. That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. Yeah. What do you want to know? Uh, let's talk about Joanne. What can you tell me about Joanne? What was she like? I never hung out with her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Uh, can you tell me anything yeah. about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Off the roof. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Mm -hmm. Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and yeah. you, well... Aren't? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens <laughs> quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Okay, well, that's then. all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, yep. leave my name out of it. Yep. Um... Yep, there we go. Yeah? Um... Hi. Yeah. I'm Rosangela Blackwell, with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village, the village Eye. Eye. The newspaper. I've never heard of it. Um, it it's off. just a small paper. Yeah. yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. I gotta ask Jesus that. Christ. What's I'm the point of midterms. Piercing... I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? I'm just... I understand that this must be a difficult time for you. Difficult? Hell no. It's been great. You know how long I've been wanting my own room? It must have been hard, living with someone you don't like. What? You're psychoanalyzing me now? No. What the hell do you know about it? You're really starting to piss me off. Well, you're the one in the with the nose ring that kind of makes me go, why? I have to ask, why would you pierce the side of your nose? I have nothing against piercings. I honestly don't. I mean, there are some piercings I say no to, but like the nose ones are one of those ones that just make me go, why? Gauges are the ones that I say no to. I just don't like gauges. They freak me out a little bit. Not not because they stretch out the ear, because some people put gauges in the places where gauges shouldn't be. It's scary when they put them in places where they shouldn't be. Anyway, um... Sorry. 
Whatever. Be I just want to know a little bit about Joanne. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She yeah. couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Yeah. Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Mm -hmm. Quiet as a little mouse. Uh... Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. no. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne uh, would kill herself? Nope. nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Okay. Do you have a photograph Drop. of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Um... Can you tell me anything yeah. about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Uh, Can you tell me a little yeah. bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never yeah. had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks for helping. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, da, 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 move across to the yeah. I don't see what one has to do with. Kelly yeah. told me that Joanne studied all day and nothing else. Mm -hmm. Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. Uh. According to Kelly, Joanne didn't have any trouble sleeping. And then. It would appear that Joanne was a pretty good student, or at least a hard-working one. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. Yeah. If anyone has a photograph of if only I could convey- Adrian, Adrian Kelly. lives a few doors down from- Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. Adrian hmm. lives a few doors down from Joanne and- Okay. If anyone, if only. Okay, so. Maybe there's a connection. Let's go talk to the RA again. Up, 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 up. Looks like I drop. I fixed the drop frame issue. Yeah. Hmm. Hi, it's me. Yeah. You have more questions. Yeah. I suppose so. What do you want to know? Your teeth are weird. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think yeah. she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Mm -hmm. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only yeah. comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Um... What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Yeah. Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Hmm. Yep, she's pre-med. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Wait a minute. Well, that's all. Thanks yeah, for helping. Just thanks for the info. You just hit a doorbell. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's yeah. been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Uh, did Kelly lie? Um. Uh, yeah? Your RA told me yeah. that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been yeah. sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Yeah. Did you lie to me? Yes. I didn't lie. I just... Oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? So what yeah. was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. Okay. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so... Vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a ah. typical college kid. I, just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Mm-hmm. Did Joanne act 
unusual before she died. Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? Uh, I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Um... Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it. Keeps out of our way when we don't. Mm -hmm. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want just background info for the paper? I don't think so. Suit yourself. That's it. Thanks for helping. Yeah, sure. So she's been sleeping in her boyfriend's place. She's. Huh. Ugh. Yeah. This is getting worse. At least yeah. I have enough for the story now. I better get home. Yep. Uh, this is getting bad. Yeah. Shut the door and... Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take oh, that long. Frame drops are popping up. Okay. Type this up. Do some research on Joanne. No, I can't find any Uh, Kelly. No. Nope. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning... Okay. I am just feeling maybe tomorrow, but today it's just not. Yeah. Right. No more. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Done. Articles finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Oh, here we go. No. What's. Come on. I need fresh air. I've got to get out of here. There is something on that picture. I want to see why that picture was glowing. It's a photograph of... It's me. I look scared <laughs> out of my mind. I don't remember when this picture was taken, but I look about four or five years old. Auntie Lauren. Yeah. She took care of me after my parents died. For most of my life, Auntie Lauren was a vegetable, slowly rotting away in a hospital bed. I don't remember what she was like before that. This picture is all I have to go by. And we go for the door. Go outside. Go back inside. I wish I could go to bed, but I have work to do. No. I open those curtains and a dozen windows can look directly. Those curtains stay shut. Already then. Okay. This team. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. Okay. Figured that would do something for me. Okay, uh, Joanne's talk. I don't want to ruin the picture. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. Man. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea. I assume- uh, Just two friends of Joanne. Got it. Talk to- Come in! Hello, Ro Come in. Come. <laughs> Don't mind the pooch. He's harmless. Yeah. So, Make small talk. Um, how are you? 
Oh, I'm just fine. Uh, right, Marty? Uh, ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> there we go. Thank her again. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only yeah. lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. <laughs> I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. Irony. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Yeah. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. <laughs> that dog yeah. is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. Well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. <laughs> He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Jeez. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. It's funny. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. Yeah. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. Yeah. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not yeah. taboo exactly, it's just... Not normal? Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. Pretty people much. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. Yeah. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go cool. there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Uh... Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Yeah. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some yeah. even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high-frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear, but we can't. But hmm. I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. Yeah. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea, but I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Uh... Could I try feeding the dog? Sure, here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Yeah. Well, I take care. Come back whenever you... And she gave me a dog treat, I think. Yep. Come here, boy. Hi, um, um dog. dog. His name is Moti. Right, Moti. Retreat. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. See ya. <laughs> Let me guess, you're hungry again? Go get it. And now the dog wants to go out. See ya. Could I feed? Sure. Yeah. Well, take care. Come back. Feed the dog, and I think if you Here, feed boy. him enough, you're going to, uh, he'll have to, go, he'll want to go out. Go get it. See ya.
Nope. Okay. I thought he would um, do something different. I don't know. Anyway, sure. Now I can. Yep. There it goes. What is happening? Dun, 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 dun. It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like, like. A hot what pin between the that? eyes. The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but. There he is. No, no, no. One of my favorite I did three not jokes. Just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. <laughs> stress. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest. That's all. There we go. Hello, bright eyes. Hello. Why do they always do that? Well, you do slap them upside the head when you get slapped onto them. So, Griff, long time no see. Those tricks. Right, thought as much. Yes. Blackwell dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. That's not creepy at all. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's oh. about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake <laughs> up. Nap time what? Nelly. <clears throat> Shall we try this again? Mm. No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Yeah. Believe me, I've tried. Mm. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. It's happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could <laughs> you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you, you shut, shut up. up. You're gonna listen, and you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No. Damn you, you know my name, now say it. You're? Yes. You're Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I? Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um. <laughs> um. Accepted? You really exist. Oh, yes. Live and in person. Although well, I'm not really alive. Not the live and part. I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who mm. are you? Yeah, you can I'm still well, label alone. yourself as a person. And I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. Uh, passed uh, down he from said one it. generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. State the obvious. No, no, question is Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. Yeah. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Yeah. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. Yeah. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt yeah. something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where yeah. did it start? 
Um, you mean the, the dog, dog run? run? Yeah, that's where we've got to go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But yeah. it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the <laughs> middle of the night. Well, that's mm. where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. Mm -hmm. And we have to take care of them soon. Yeah. We really don't have a choice here. Uh, whiny response. We've got to go right now? Yes. Right now. What's the hurry? Yeah. Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Uh, Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I yeah. don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Yeah, he kind of has a point. Just Fine. just accept it. Let's go. That's the spirit. To be honest, I think I, I would have definitely agreed with After the ghost you. that's tied to you, family-wise. So. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and yep. hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? Yep. I don't see anything. Can we go? Give Come on, it a this minute. way. Hey, wait! Give it a minute. Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Yeah. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to dun, dun, see? Dun, dun, Just wait. Dun, dun, It'll dun. come. Yep, there he is. Bum, ba, da, Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find, find out. out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. Yeah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Um, uh, be charming. Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Uh, work the charm. Leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. So hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Calm her down. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick. He poisoned us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. Uh, uh, stand your ground. Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're... You're him. He's the only one who won't go away. Who? Him. No, look. Who, darling? Sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. Yeah. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Okay. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get <laughs> a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog, dog park. park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. No. What am Looks I like doing? We got here? a little bit of I a, told you. No. Someone messaged me. No, I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love yeah. of Pete. Uh, yeah, sorry. Did not see that message. So, um Give me a sec here. Quick tweak. Nope, still can't see it. Oh well. Sorry for whoever sent that. What I an didn't see odd it. Odd dream. So. 
Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? Heh. <laughs> Throw it in his face. If it bothers you so much, you can always no. leave. I wish I could, dear. I told you, I couldn't leave even if oh, I wanted to. Um, so this is going to be my life from now on. Okay, so I had to read that from the much, video yeah. screen You're going to follow me editor, around so for the rest of my life. Uh, That's how it works, talk. as far as Just I can tell. Quick. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled yet? to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 uh, questions? Uh, yeah. That's with the third degree. Anyway, well, I don't have to... As long as I don't pick the next section, the next topic for them to talk about. Anyway, um... Okay, this is the Blackwell Legacy. This game is about basically a... What's the word? Uh, Point-and-click detective game. Where the main character... Rosi uh, I'm gonna just call her Rosa Blackwell. Just inherited her auntie's uh, gift, basically. Um, who sadly passed away in this game. This is the first game, and we are basically starting with this character. Um, this game was made by w uh, Wija Wija. I can't remember the exact name of it, but um, yeah, this game. I like it. It's an interesting mechanic. You can get control of both these characters here. Rosa, Rosa Blackwell, and Joey. Um, Joey being the ghost here. Um, they basically help other ghosts move on and they solve whatever mystery they can along the way. So, yeah. That's the whole thing with this game. So... Basically, I'm solving murders with the ghost. Mm. You're not wrong. I, I like it. Um, give me one quick second. I'm gonna get something here because I'm, I can't really strain my eyes to read all that. So... I don't really have the internet to spare, but I have no choice in the matter, so. Just give me a sec. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, please, yay. Okay. There. Now I can read the chat, kinda. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna turn on the lot turn up this back to live, and I'm going to go back to the game now. Okay. Um. I yeah. have a right to know. Yeah. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you, squat. Look, this isn't you, easy. You is kind of wild. You're a right. ghost. You can't really... Fine. I'm a medium. Fine. My whole life is turned upside down. Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've. Accepted it, you say? So far, yes. Yeah. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? <laughs> ready to see what's out there. I ready just went to completely see immature on that comment. <laughs> um. There's more? Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Yep. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? You guys yeah, are going to love this. the only this. part of me you can touch, unfortunately. Ha! <laughs> it kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or, or death. death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Yeah. Now you pull. Pull the tie? Just yeah, pull. pull. Okay. Slaps her right in the head. Well then. Oh my god, where have you taken me? Relax. Your take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. 
The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. Um... Is yeah. that dangerous? Um, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point, or node. God, it connects the music. mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Mm -hmm. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I you think dig. so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So, we have it's to help a them form accept of denial. It. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. Yep. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Um... That's about the time. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever, whatever. power brought us here. Yeah. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. Mm. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. Yeah. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Pretty much, yeah. I would pretty much think there would be uh, no instruction manual for being a medium. Anyway. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. Hmm. Um, Are you okay, yeah. Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. It's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe hmm. someday, but not now. Hmm. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. Yeah. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. I think hmm. I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Can I grab this rock real quick? This, no? Okay. Well then. Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to bum, the park bum, and bring her bum, to bum. that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Yep. Um... How yep. do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Yeah. There as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Mm -hmm. Their death was too traumatic, or too violent, or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. <laughs> so we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we mm -hmm. need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. Hmm. I mean, he does have, he does have a point. Uh, technically, writing about a ghost is like the ultimate thing, so yeah. Remind me, how do we- Like ice? Like an object? Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay, uh... How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. <laughs> huh. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. Hmm. The blonde girl yeah. is dead. Looks like it. 
And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. Mm-hmm. Um... How do we help the ghost move design? on? With my magic wow. tie, dear, I give one end to the, the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your yeah. job. Um, I think else. I've heard it. Yeah, let's get going. Um, now that we have activated Joey ability, I want to look at these a little bit more. Joey crashes yet another photograph. He doesn't look happy. I don't want to ruin the pic. Joey crashes. He doesn't. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. Yeah. Even way back then, Joey was following her around. How did she manage it? So... Okay. Um, how to explain this game a little bit more. Um, oh yeah, and I'm sorry because I cannot control the volume of these, this, this music. I cannot. I literally can't. Like, literally. Here's my settings. I, I cannot control the music here. So, I, uh, I am sorry ahead of time. Anyway. Um... Yeah, this game has like a weird setup. There's like four or five games, all with the Blackwell name tied to them. And in one of them. Whoop. Off click. Whoops. Um, yeah, the. Uh, what was it? You coming? Yeah, sure. The. Uh, what was it? In one of the games, we actually get to play as her aunt. But that one, I actually have to have like a pen and paper with me just because uh, the creators of this game decided to tweak the um, the mechanics a little bit. So I am going to go over to, uh, let's go with the dorm and I want to talk to the RA. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. Yeah. You have more- Yeah. I suppose so. What do you want to know? Yeah. Uh, girl- Do you recognize photo. the girls in this photo? Hmm. Well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. And the other two? I definitely Star recognize them. Two. They were friends of Joanne. They were up here Didn't all the time. have that game? I, I never, never touched it. Well, that's all. Thanks for helping. Just remember. Yeah, keep your name out of the paper. Blah, blah, blah. Go talk to Joanne's uh, roommate. I think I've played Star so Patrol too. I After don't know. you. Yeah. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? Yeah. Fine. Make it quick. Still don't understand why you have your nose pierced like that. I'll give it a look if I have it. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I what? You're a detective now? Kind of. No, forget it. How are you um, holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for lending me. No big deal. I was just sitting there on her desk. Um. Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Yeah. Oh, them. You know them. Only through Joanne. Do you know their names? Blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to <laughs> avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't mm -hmm. care for me, and I didn't much care for them. Ah. Uh. You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. Yeah. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. That was usually my Oh yeah, this is set in New York. What do you want to know about her? Just I'm having of, uh... difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies? <laughs> huh? Nothing. Right? Okay. Thanks for that, that's kind of That yeah, one sure. was kind of Whatever. funny. Point to Joey. 
uh, I am avoiding talking to Joey because again, there is the achievement Whatever. where I have to play the whole game without talking to him in public. I'm not lugging that. Uh, I recognize her. That's Joanne. I recognize. Okay. That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder. Okay. Um. Whatever. Over. What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well. Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. Yeah, but we're not. So, let's see. I get the impression that. Okay, so I'm gonna go and. Yeah. Happily with um. Oh yeah, I should mention this. Fun little fact with uh, Joey. You can't use your cell phone, you can't use normal television, and you can't, and, well actually you can't watch television, and you can't, um, use the computer when Joey's around. He's like a walking EMP. It is hilarious. It sometimes, like, sometimes he has issues, like you can't, like you can get him to do, like get away a little bit so he can do some so you can be able to do certain things, but still. Davenport is too common a name. I need a first name at least. Yeah. Without a last name, the word alley is pretty useless. It's too common a name. Without a last... Hmm. Uh... Okay, so if alley... You come... Yeah, 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 we're going, we're going, we're going. Um, of course, in the last game, we do get some backstory on Joey. Whoop, went to the wrong place. <laughs> I gotta go back to the Brittany Hall dorm and talk to the RA, and then I'm gonna do and talk some more to, uh, all that, so. Hmm? Hi. You have- Yeah. I yeah, I'm gonna you. skip through this because they've- Thanks, I've already heard this, like- Davenport? Yeah. No. Nobody named Davenport on this floor. Thanks, anyway. Um, Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's... never mind. All right. Susan? Did you ever make the name doesn't ring a bell. Okay. Well, that's all. Thanks for helping. Just remember... Okay, so... Let's see. Joanne and Allie. Allie was one of Joanne's friends. And just like Joanne, Allie is dead. Hmm. Adrian doesn't know anything about them. But yeah, open. After you. Yeah. I'm gonna talk yeah. to her about um. Could I ask you? <sighs> Make a quick. You can work and talk at the Do same time. Do you know time. anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. It's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. I don't suppose mm -hmm. you'd know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Yeah. Okay. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend Allie? You mean Miss Blunt? Yeah. I know enough. Which she was over here all the time. She was kind of. Oh, that was annoying. What do you want to know about? I'm having. Would you know where she? I don't know. Studying. Partying. Pushing, pushing up daisies. daisies. Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right. Um. Hmm. Thanks for helping. Yeah, sure. Please let- It would really- I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions. Thanks again. Whatever. Okay. It's the only bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. Which, uh, funny There's enough- There's a notebook on Joanne. Um, which, funny enough, um... Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be dead. Okay. Um, funny thing is there's actually oh, she brush her teeth? Same way as everybody else, I guess. Wouldn't it rust? Ugh. Imagine kissing a girl with rust breath. Heh. <laughs> um... 
anyway, yeah, fun thing, there is actually a move, uh, TV show that was aired a while back called Pushing Up Daisies. It was one of my favorite shows back in the day. Um, reason why I say that is because um, Pushing Up Daisies got canceled after, I think, season two? Um, because there was a writer's strike and all this other stuff. But the, the concept of that, that show was basically this guy had the ability to bring back the dead. He, anybody he touched would come back to life. So if he touched like a, a fly, it would come back to life. But he only has a minute to retouch that thing. And if, he if that thing is alive longer than a minute, I think it was a minute, either way, um, something else dies in its place. So I kind of like that. That was that was honestly cool for me. I like that. Oop, I did not want to leave. I wanted to talk to ghost. So I don't yeah. want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Um... Yeah. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah. I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore. But he did something to me. They'll go away. Uh... Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego, a story and a song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. <laughs> Cute. Well, Allie Montego. Well, at, at least we've confirmed who you are. Yeah. Talk about Susan. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady Lee? She had to go away, stupid deacon, sending away all my friends, hmm. even the little, little ones. Okay, so we Look, have... Just sit tight, we'll figure this out. We and have... We'll be back. Something about the... That place is creepy. What, you don't like dogs? You know what I mean. So we have some guy named the Deacon. Huh. Hmm. Actually, I'm kind of curious on what you'd say about Joanne, but I'm going to go look up her name now since we have her last name. But yeah, this game has like some time jumps. Right now we're just starting at, um... Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about oh, Ouija boards? boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Seriously? Jeez. Oh, Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. I Has agree. This happened before? A few times. Those Too many. things are nothing but trouble. Agreed. Ouija boards are just evil. There are so many sites about this and they all contradict each other. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction. Yep. Uh, Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. Yeah. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I well think then. that's our girl. Well then. Okay, so... Two people... Two... You coming? Yeah, sure. So it looks like three of the... All three of these girls tried committing suicide. Only two succeeded and one's still alive. Huh. Interesting. So... Now... I gotta figure out... Uh, 
Uh, I gotta talk to... Man, I yeah. hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Hey, I don't Why'd you have to you? drag me back here, huh? Usually it's the pretty basic stuff. You need stuff. a key to open. Um... Usually they have like a switch button for that. Like, I can just press like a switch button. Hey, look at that. There we I go. don't think I need some small key. One of them is labeled FB. Uh, let's see here. Um, talk about. Is Susan, Susan Lee, Lee a patient here? Susan. Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. See if I can get two for two. Um, May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, oh, yeah. you're not on the list. She'll be out in a yeah. week. You can visit her then. Um. I'd like. I told you. Oh, well, that's because. Um. Let's see, uh... Blame Susan, Susan doesn't know me by that name. She calls me something totally different. Yeah. Please, please. Really? Well, what name would be on the list? Come on, come on, uh... Davenport. My name is Davenport. Davenport? That's it? Um, Rosa Davenport? Sorry. It's still not on the list. Rosa Davenport has a pretty nice ring to it, actually. Agreed. Um. I'd like to see Susan. I told. Oh, that's. Um. Um. Susan, did she call me? I'm gonna do the memory again, and. Really? Well, what name? Uh. Come on, come on. Uh. Yeah. My name is Allie. Right. Well, you're still not on the. I don't think they'd let dead. But good try. Damn. Um. I'd like. I... Oh, that. Let's do what the chat I've seen, which was blame I the system. I wasn't on the list. I should be on it now. Yes. <laughs> oh really? Well, let's check then. What was your name again? Uh. Davenport? My name is Davenport. Davenport? Um. Sorry. Rosa Dav. Thanks. Uh huh. Uh, I just got hit with the metaphorical hammer. Um. I gotta talk to the ghost one more time. Please note. Hmm. Yeah. Let's talk to. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get right to the questions. Um, Davenport. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No. Maybe. Can you tell me anything? Little Lady Lee won't say much. Uh, okay. Uh, Ouija Why board? Why are you interested in Ouija boards? Ouija boards? I hate them! Why do you have to bring that up? I had a Ouija board once. Next thing I knew, everybody went away. Uh, uh. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. Okay. Do you Kelly. know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. But that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Uh, huh. The deacon. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. <laughs> Try her he name? My head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Can you tell me anything about yourself, Allie? Tago, a story and song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Look, just we'll figure this out. <sighs> you, 
You all right? This is gonna take a long time to- We got the ri- I think I already tried Allie's name. Okay, nothing there. Judging from the photo Kelly gave me. Yeah, they were friends. The girls were interested in Ouija, Ouija boards, boards. And they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? I would say yeah, but... Oh. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'll do that. I don't think, I think I failed though on my uh, going two for two. Whoop, wrong one. Going for two to two achievements. Because I'm not allowed to talk to... I'm basically making it so I don't talk to Joey in public. Because that's what I'm trying to avoid. So, yeah. Anyway, um... I'd like to... I told... Oh, that... Cause... Susan, she calls me... Yeah. Really? Well, what name? Uh, Kelly. My name is Kelly. Nope. I'd like to... I... Oh, that... Susan. Susan. Really? Well, what... Let's go with... Allie, Susan, Kelly... Adrian. My name is Adrian. Sorry, no Adrian's on the guest list. Dang. I actually honestly thought that was going to work. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, notes... Maybe... That makes no sense. Eh, uh, no. Figured. Nothing on the phone book. Usually I'm supposed to talk to Joey to get, um... To make him basically be able to do certain things. Actually, let's actually do that. I can, I, I have to... I'm not allowed to talk to him in public, so I have to basically only talk to him when I'm in her apartment or someplace else. Joey, so. come here a sec. What is it, dear? Let's see. Um, go back. History. I forgot the Joey, photo. you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Why were you- Because your aunt insisted on going, and I go where she goes. I could have talked her out of it, but she put her foot down. Yeah. Tough lady, your aunt, when she needed to be. Hmm. You don't look very happy in this picture. Yeah. That's because I wasn't. There was a spirit trapped in an alley down in Chinatown. A little girl, five years old. Lost and confused and needing our help. But did your aunt want to solve the case? No. Going to the wedding was important, she said. More important. Can you imagine? I don't know. I mean, technically, a ghost is... If she's lost and confused, that means she's stuck in her mental loop. She ain't going anywhere. Can you tell me anything else about the wedding? I don't know. But there was music. Granted. Bride wore white. It was over 30 years ago. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean my memory is perfect. Mm-hmm. What was my grandmother like? Yeah. Her? We have to talk about her? What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. <laughs> it just sounds like a you just that just sounds like one of those magic eight balls. <laughs> Tell me about my grandmother. Ask me later. Okay. I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. I said we'll talk about that later, sweetheart. Now we got stuff to do. Okay. Open notebook. Talk about Susan. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Susan. Nope, no more than you. The Ouija board? Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow, considering what's been going on. Mm-hmm. Um... Why would Joanne commit suicide? Who knows? That's not... You want to Wait a minute. There's I another... Think yeah, let's There's get... another hammer. Joanne's suicide with there the deacon. There is obviously a connection between the deacon and these girls, but what? Hmm. See if anything um, pops up on this. That's too common. Whoever the deep. Um, Adrian. Nope. No. 
I already Susan Lee with him still. I can't. Okay. What you plan on writing Fifty coming? Shades of Grey? Yeah, sure. To be honest, I wouldn't be really surprised if uh, you did write that. I mean, you have a ghost with you. You can't really mm -hmm, get some privacy. So, anyway, that's going back underneath the door where it's not going to come out. So, uh, what else? Um, come on, come on. Mm hmm. Talk to her. Talk, go back to talking to the roommate for a little bit. See what they say. Yeah, open. Yeah, After open. You. Yeah. Could I ask you some thoughts? <sighs> Make it quick. Um, question her. Deacon Ouija board. No, no. Okay. I don't suppose you know not much. Why? I guess maybe she just didn't. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Do you know Allie. anything about Joanne's friend Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough. She was over here all the time. She was kind of sweet, I think. Ugh, that was in. What do you want to know about? I'm having. Would you know? I don't know. Studying. Pushing up Daisy. Shh. Huh? Yeah, we, Nothing. we heard right. the joke before coming on. Um. Did I ask the ghost Joanne about Joanne? Thanks, Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Please let it would really have helped you out if you can ask just Thanks again, whatever. Um Wait. Joanne's photo. Nope, okay. So we identified the three girls, we identified all of this other stuff. It's just a tele. Can I use your phone? You what? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine. Uh. Who do you? F Hello. Could I speak to Joey, please? Yeah. Hi, Joey. Um. Yes, I uh, have some questions for you. Slick. Ah. <laughs> not bad, kid. Not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. Uh, about a distraction. Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. Me? What can I do? Uh, plead Joey, for I'm not sure I can do what you ask me to do. This is stupid. Kid, you have to. Don't back out now. Uh, yes, hello. Device? Could you tell me what I'm supposed to do now, please? Do. Look around, check for clues. We need all the information we can get our hands on. Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to yeah. you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. I mean... I mean, like in the other games, you're There's able a to... On jo can I? No. Joanne and I might not, but I'll be... Um... Oh yeah, way to turn over every stone. What do you- I'm doing the best- Well try- Yeah, I'm trying my best here. Let's see... No, that's- that's something different. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, well no, actually what they are doing is- what happens to- Um, how to explain this? In this game, basically what happens is a ghost basically lives the moments before, but basically acts like everything's normal. So, say that you were like, uh, I don't know, um, let's go with something 60s. Let's say you are a housewife and you basically died while you were baking a pie. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. I know, there's still, I'm just need to get permission for me to do it so I gotta find how to so yeah hmm? hi it's 
You have more questions. Yeah. I yeah. suppose so. What do you want to... Thanks, anyway. Davenport? Oh. Nobody named Davenport on this floor. Oh. Thanks, anyway. Oh, there's a there's an error here. When you hit Davenport, instead of asking about the Davenport, she basically... Okay, recent suicide. They really thought you... Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me anything? I don't feel it's much. If you want to know more, we'll have Well, that's all for now. Mm. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name... Leave my name out of it. No shite. Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. Um... Okay, we already know about this. Hmm, no... That makes no sense. Maybe there's a connect. Um. Could Kelly have had something to do with Joanne? Nah. I get the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Susan. I get um. the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Allie. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NY. Yeah. I've made all my mental connections I can right now, and I, I get it that I can have more I gotta do, but. Maybe... There's no... Uh... Ew, there's gum stuck to the... Apparently that... Joe! Shh! I want you to stop. Take it. Well, I just basically, um... Boxed the one achievement Open. I wanted to get. After... Oh well. Yeah? Um... She's covered her... The window has safety bars on it. I guess mm. that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. Yeah. Uh, telephone. Can I use your again? It'll only take fine. Yeah, whatever. Not now. Hello. Hi. Thank you, Joe. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks again. Yeah. I'm not getting. Um. The safety. Cannot no. up. Yeah, I'm, I think I just gotta have to spam the hey, can I look around? Make a quick Please let it would help you could please 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 it would help you could act. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Um That doesn't have anything tied to it. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's just, it's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin. You think I can I mean I mean I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. Do you know? No, but it's a stupid, stupid name. name. It's written right over here. On you think I care what she does? I mean, mm. what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. Thanks for help. Yeah. Sh Thanks again. Whatever. That important. Kelly. That makes no sense. No, uh, there's something there. Cause I don't see the name Mrs. Davenport was written under. Oh, yeah. Maybe Allie knows who Davenport is. Yeah. The word Davenport was written on. So, go back. This is. You think it's pretty? You're, you yeah, want. Yeah, I know, I know. I gotta go search there a little bit better, but I need to get permission to do so. I can't distract her either. I'm not so. stealing. Just a bunch of notice. Yeah, I noticed that too. So, go to the hospital. So, it's about. I'd like to oh, tell that I was. I should. Oh, really? Well, what was. That My one? name is. Right. I don't think they. A good trip. Uh, I'd like. Oh, mm. that. I... You did what? Yeah. Gave the... It's... A... Ugh. Really? Well... What is your name? Uh... Deacon. That's not real. Don't My name is... Sorry. I don't think they'd let dead... But good try... Yeah. 
What's with the- Hey, old building. Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights- It's giving me a headache, let me- Yeah. Thanks. Uh-huh. Go over here. I think I can get some... I can still get some time to talk to... I don't Joe. have any- Hey, Joe. Yes, darling? Yep. Um... What was it like? Yeah. Like? I was on a different floor, but it's all the same. Yeah. 25 friggin' years hovering over your aunt's shoulder, staring at the ceiling. You want to know how many cracks there were in that ceiling? Not really. 54! Or maybe 55. I was never sure about that last one. How well did you know Dr. Quentin? That quack. He'd come yep. into your aunt's room, poke her, prod her, try to get her to speak. He didn't know from nothing. I'd just as soon never see him again. Yep. Uh, what was Auntie's condition like? She was a rotting vegetable, sweetheart. They kept her so drugged up that she could hardly move. Yeah. Which is probably for the best, come to think of it. Without the drugs, she uh, wasn't With pretty. The but the doc told you all about that. You don't need to hear it again. That's all for- Right. Some kind of motivational po- I'm not stealing- So... The sign says- Looks like a few judging by the- You need a key. Yeah, and there's a key over there. I can get the key if I'm smart about it, and I can be smart about it. I just... I don't think so. Just a small- So... Did you have- Nope. She mm. was in, uh... No. That's a whole different- This is the floor for temp- I see. Hmm. So what if It's just that. Most insurance plans only cover a two-week stay, so this floor is designed for a high turnover rate. That's why the doctor's office is usually down a weird floor plan, apparently. They need to be on hand when new patients arrive. Yeah, um, he can blow small objects. And I mean literally, he, he can't really physically affect a lot of things, but he can, like, blow papers or... Anything small, but I can't remember. In each game, they mess with the Joey and human character, a uh, ghost and human kind of things. Like in one game, they actually just make it so you can basically just click on a button and they basically switch between the two. This one, I can't. I can't remember how it did it. I'd like so. to see. I told. Oh, that. Uh, I. You did. Yeah, it's. Hmm. Yeah. Real. Well. Um. Uh, my name. Davin. Um. Sorry. Rose. I'm here Rose. to see. Go right in. Come in. Doctor Quinn. Yeah. Oh. Uh, talking to him actually gets like, and I still love that pose. It's like um. No, I can't remember exactly what I need to do, so... I might have to use a small cheat point to get, like, a walkthrough real quick just to figure out something. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say but anything specific know. about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no, I... Oh, real subtle. Heh. <laughs> Dr. Quentin... I... Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. I was thinking you more Phoenix Wright. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I just spent 25 was years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you did. Just recently. You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Because that's what'll happen. And I'll make sure your life is a living hell. Um... Think about it. <laughs> yes, Miss Blackwell? Never mind. Good girl. I, Keep I, your I, gap shut and we'll get on just fine. I love that so much. <laughs> I will make your life a living hell. Think about it. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, uh, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. 
In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Yeah. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. And I guess leave. I'll head out. Very well. But, yeah, later down the road we end up getting, like, some... I want to talk. Yeah? That's all yeah. for now. Right. Okay. So... I... Locked. Whatever. Hmm. So, if they got the deacon through a Ouija board, why? But she's in a dog park, so there's a big hint Let's right talk to there. That ghost. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. Um, hey there. No. Maybe. Young Maybe. lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but, but you're, you're dead. dead. It's so quiet. You're dead. It, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Are you listening to me? They all go away. The deacon made them go away. Listen, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever it is, just. Let go. He haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisons me. He's trying to kill me. You're already you're... dead. Oh, forget it. Did you summon something with a Ouija board? Did I? That's why I'm asking you. I hate those things. I'll never use one again. And why is that? Because... The Deacon, kid. Did you get in contact with someone called the Deacon? The Deacon! The Deacon. I hate him so much. I knew it. Damn kids and your damn Ouija boards. Don't worry, we'll clean up this mess. Um. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? Joanne? There we Joanne? go. Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She what? had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Okay. Uh, I'm not the only one who heard that, right? Okay. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. Man with a plan. Can you tell me? Kelly, Kelly. Crazy Kelly. Can you tell me anything? Alan Montego, a story and song. She kisses the boys, but not. Do you know any? No. Okay. Can you tell me anything else about Susan? Little Lady Lee won't say much. Okay, so. Can you tell? Alan Montego, she kisses the. Do you know any? No. Okay, so some for some reason Susan Lee uh, was in love with whoever this Davenport guy's name is. Um, Look, just we'll figure this out. Don't you think she's not really? Maybe it's a ghost thing. Okay, I'm using a cheat point. I'll be right. Give me a second. Enjoy the music. I, I, I'm getting a walkthrough. I'm just, just to kind of unclog things because we are clogged. Um, it doesn't take me long. Come on. And uh, yeah, that is a thing with me. I have three cheat points per game. I'm allowed to use three cheat points. After that, I am done. And I will keep track of my um, cheat points every time. So since this is my first cheat point, I still have two left. But, uh, give me a second. I don't want to review, I just want to. Oh yeah, and those who are Disney fans, by the way, um, 
look forward to an upcoming movie of uh, Mary Poppins. Because they are making a new Mary Poppins movie. Not unbound, but... Um, which, funny enough, they do have one of the original actors in it. Uh, Dick Van Dyke. The guy was one of the, um, what was it? He's one of the, he was one of the original characters. He was one of the, he was, uh, Bert in the original one. So, anyway. Day one, blah, blah, blah. I'm on day two. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I, uh, real quick, I'm actually reading a uh, walkthrough here, and I, I love this one. He then asks you to pull his tie, and then in, in uh, I guess, the little side things they use for the, the what's going on in the chat right now, that those icons, um, that is not a metaphor. I, I gotta laugh out of that. But yeah, it's not a metaphor. Yeah, uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. once you that, uh, go to Kelly's room. Talk to photograph with Susan. Book. Seriously? Oh, I didn't ask Joey about that. Doy. Okay. I gotta go back to uh, her apartment. So... I can't remember what the name of those uh, hyphen thingies were, whatever. But yeah, uh, give me a sec. And I just noticed my frame drop spiked. Come on, Joey, Joey? come here. Yeah. Ask about Joey. Um, so what can power. you actually do? Do? As a ghost? Any powers, powers or anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything. Not really. Nope. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. Jeez. Neat trick, huh? Not really. Everyone's a critic. Okay, so I think I've yeah. Let's this ghost. Now we have unlocked Joey's ghostly abilities. You come. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this game has like multiple changes on um, what's the word? Uh, art styles. I, I mean, this like everything changes in this game a lot. Not not this one in, in particular, but the series. Uh, we wanted uh, Brittany Hall. We want to go down to go about all the way down to Kelly's room. Yeah, open. Yeah, open. After you. Yeah. Kelly. Could I make a actually? Thanks again. Whatever. Can I use again? It'll only. Yeah. And now that we know Joey can blow paper, so. Hello. Hi. The you performed question. a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. Uh. uh sure, sure. I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah. 
Crap. Nice one. And out, 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 run, run, run. So congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. For the greater good. For the greater good. Now that we actually have some headway here. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty strange. I'd better take a closer look. Let's see here. Joanne and scratch, 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 scratch. Susan and Alexander. So many men, so little time. Allie and question, question, question. I can't hear, can't hear the professor. I no longer care. I won't even can't concentrate. Uh, gone. He made her go. Susan is gone too. They won't let me see her. I am the only one left. Okay, this is where. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person. I think we just got another um, link. The school teacher. Ah. Uh... They were talking, yeah, they we're, this is basically a college dorm, so yeah, they're talking about a school teacher, but, uh, no, the deacon was summoned by a Ouija board, so, she's most likely talking about the deacon driving her crazy, so. Hmm. And Alexander Davenport was listed as being on the hockey team at NYU. It doesn't say anything else about him, though. Hmm. Okay, so... You can yeah, Okay, now that we have a full name, we can might be able to get past the guard now. I'd like to... I told... Oh, well, that's... Uh... Susan, she called... Really? Well, what... I can't, use, I can't use that. That's a man's name. No, you can. Thanks. Uh huh. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. I'd like. I... Oh, that. Susan, yeah. she called. Really? Well, what name would- My name is- Huh. Your name is- Can I go in? Sure. Thanks. Yeah. That was a pain. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Yeah. Where's Alexander? Um... He's not true. here. They told me- they told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me anyway. Who are you? My name is Rose Angela. Yeah. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? Uh... Maybe? I'm not a doctor, but I can still help you. Right? Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh... Inquire about so how are you feeling? Yeah. Fine. That's all. Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. Whatever. Oh yeah, and this is in 2006, by the way. Yeah, 2006. I'm just clarifying that for people watching this. I do post this on YouTube. Uh, most of my videos from most of the other streams I do are posted on YouTube. So yeah, I think I'm still recording this one to be honest. So yeah, um, we'll see. Uh, let's see, uh, Joanne. I'd like to talk to you about your friend Joanne. You know Joanne? Sort of. What, what about her? Can you tell me about her? Yeah. She's Joanne. That's all. Um... Allie? Do you know what happened to Allie? Yeah. Do you know why she did it? No. 
Do you know Joanne's roommate, Kelly? Yeah, sorta. Why? Oh, no reason. Do you know what happened to Allie? Yeah. Do you know- No. Susan, mm -hmm. what happened? Nothing, just- Ask about the deacon Susan, now. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. No, it happened. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. Yeah. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? The Ouija board. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? In I believe so, a yes. Metaphorical Are you here sense. To help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. Okay, now that we have opened her up. Let's talk about Joanne. Can you tell me any Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. Mm -hmm. After Ali went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Mm -hmm. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Yeah. Ask about Can Ellie. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. And now she can't. She... she was the first of us to go. Why is that? How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? Yeah, not a lot of people understand that. The happiest people are the ones that are usually the easiest ones to break. Kind of a mental thing. Sorry. So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. I saw the speeding taxi and I just... Yeah, Jumped. You know, here I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. Can't even kill myself right. Well, actually, you'd be kind of grateful for that. I have to go now, but I'll come back to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be kind of hard to explain why you're talking to an empty space where a chick just basically killed herself. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness? I'm just saying. Mm, yeah. So I'm going to go and since I got that information that she wanted to be a vet, I can go to Rose's apartment, talk to the Shandy. Come in. And Look, you've got him all ex Come in. Are you all right, Ro? You look a little preoccupied. I'm fine. Yeah. That's odd. Moti never acts like... Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some oh, animals can sense, sense me. Him. Are you getting a good look? Boo! <laughs> it's gotten into... I'm sorry. He it's all right. Oh, oh, poor dog. Uh, Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Can you take an- You said uh, yesterday- Yes. Could you tell me more about that? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. I'm just observant. Mm -hmm. Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what- What do you mean? You look uncomfortable. The way your yeah. eyes keep moving back and forth. 
Is everything all... Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep. Ever Just Andy. And could you stop looking at... I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, I'm here if you need me. Well, I'll take care. Come back. Okay. Let's see here. Dog. Here, boy. There's nothing to be afraid of. I hope. There's nothing to be afraid of. I hope. Go get it. There's nothing to be. I hope. Oop. Awkward. There we go. See ya. Come here. See ya. Since we know that she wanted to be a vet, we can try to. Could I be sure? Well, I'll take care, Rosa. Come back. I know if you feed him like a few treats, he ends up like. Hey, boy. Go get it. See ya. I had, I think I gotta get this dog like a tummy ache or something. Could I feed you? Well, I'll take you. Come back. Come on. Hey, boy. Go get it. Okay. See ya. Yeah, I... So, dogs can see you, huh? Dogs, cats, birds, any dumb animal. So what does that make me? I don't know. A gerbil? <laughs> I kind of look like a gerbil. Shut up. <laughs> okay, that one's... That's a nice burn. Point the jelly. We found out that the... We found out that the main character... That... The girl in the dog park can see it is basically a fan of dogs, but we also found, but we have to get, hmm. Figure out coming? what. Yeah. I had I I had to think about that, and I'm down two points. So, yeah. End the end the story on that comment. You guys have a nice night. I'll be going for a little bit longer and. Uh, if you want, it will we'll end I'd up. Like to... Sure, go right in. Uh, if you want, the rest of the video will be on YouTube or on the video tab here in uh, YouTube. On Hi, Susan. Twitch, I mean. Hi. So. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know I'm not crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just these drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low, and that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see Sorry, why it's still I funny to me. It. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please. Fine, uh, give- You are s- Thanks.
So do you like Bellevue? It's okay. I used to come here every week to visit my aunt, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think she cares. Well, yeah. I'm just I've spent you don't have to. Yeah, I'm going to leave I have now. to go, but I'll come. Mm -hmm. We got what we wanted. I'm going to go take care of the, the next step here and save a ghost. So. Yeah. Elevator. Oop, oop, wrong way. There you go. You have a good night, too. Uh. Nope. I auto path to that. Jeez. You um, coming? Come on, come on. Boom. Come in. Look, come in. Mount? Just one mo- <clears throat> Boogity boogity boogity! I'm at a loss! <laughs> he never acts like this. <laughs> never! It's alright. Give me a moment. Don't worry about boogity, it. Boogity boogity boogity! You could tell the artist was like super- the, the voice actor was like super close to the uh, mic when he did that. <laughs> oh my god, that was could hilarious. Could I be sure? Well, that take care, hilarious. Rose. Come back. Okay. I... And talk to the dog. Give him the drugged biscuit. And... Go get it. And then he needed to go to the bathroom. Oh, Moti, I just took you out and... Well, you're going to have... I have my hands to... Unless... Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Yeah. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. I don't even know what species of dog he is. Right. Here you go, boy. What was it? Um, I mean, he looks like one of those you're drugging innocent dogs now. It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him, and you're the one in such a damn hurry. All right, point taken. I mean, he, she does have a point. Hey there, bright eyes. It's me again. Are, are you him? No, I'm not. But I've brought some friends. Okay. Say hi to the kid. Um, hi. I don't, I don't think, think she wants you. to see. Sure she- Go on, kid. Tell Ellie how much you want to- Oh, yeah. See? I don't believe you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The Boston Terrier? That's what I was trying to good, remember the good. name here. Good, You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. I... Yes. Yes, yes I can. can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. Not this this one, one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah. Sort, sort of. of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Are you the cutest little thing? Hmm. Your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. Yep. I... And there it is. The pity drops. Oh. I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. I remember. I killed I'm dead. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hazy now. But I remember his voice in my head, screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. He just kept asking me to help him. 
But he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him, but he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and louder. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now we're going to send you where you need to go. Here, take this. The ghost pre vet, the ghost pre vet clinic. I don't know. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Yeah, you and me both. Bark, bark. There's that rock Ow. again. Hello? Yeah, hi! Oh. Yeah, hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. <laughs> and then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... Well, you know. You know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. I'm hoping like reincarnation is in this book. game? I don't know. Just, yeah, enjoy the trip. I think I'll see Joanna over there. Yeah. I'm sure you'll find whatever it is you want to find. Yeah, I suppose you're right. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. Yep. That didn't take too long. She just went. went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others, well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. Yep, yeah, you gotta deal with this deacon. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute. Oh, oh, there you are. I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? Of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. Yeah, you're welcome. Strange lady. Now that we did that, we got Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Yeah. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right in? Sure. Yeah. How? Improvise. That's what this gig is on. Okay, I want to get the key, so I'm going to do this. Save. And... Joey? Shh! You want to keep... Go into this alcove. Joey? There yes, go. darling? That's all for now. Right, right. I need to speak- Visiting out, she's probably Is Dr. Qu- He's long gone. Okay. Thanks. Whoa, hold on there. You wanna go in? Did not want to do that. Locked. You need a key to- Joey? Yeah? What happened with that radio? Yeah. What do you mean? When you got near the radio, the signal got interrupted. Was that you? Yeah. How do you do it? No idea. Although your aunt never let me get near the TV during days of our lives. I'm sure there's some scientific explanation, but I have no way of knowing, and frankly, who the heck could we ask? That's all for now. Right. You need a key. 
And I know the way to get this one. So, who knows? I don't think I need any of some small. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means. I don't think. Joe! Shh, you wanna keep. I wasn't even aiming to click on you, Joey. Hey, Joey. Yeah. That's all. Right. I need to get the key. Fuse box key? I could probably. There it is. Yay. Back to the hospital. Now that I have the key. You better. Come in. Store. Right there. Come in. Go, 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 go. Around the corner. Around the corner. There you go. She's asleep. Yeah, yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? This. Before that. Please, please, can't you help me? Please. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please. The others are gone. You're the only one. Please. You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please. Wake up and help me! Yeah. <clears throat> Ignore them, Susan. Listen. Hey! Ignore them. I'm talking to you. Yeah. You're. You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I. I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead like me. Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. Mm -hmm. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. no. Get that Get away, away from me. me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? Yeah. I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't, I don't want, want to. to. You don't want to? No, I... I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What, what, do, what you want? do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. It's, it's following me. Waiting. Watching. Watching. Trying to take me! But it hasn't caught me yet. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Mm. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. What hasn't yeah. caught you? It. It! I see it everywhere. In every shadow. In every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. Yeah. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Sure. Do it your way. Yeah. All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to yeah. death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn. Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. But the devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. 
So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. Mm -hmm. No! Don't make me burn! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? Yeah. Oh. Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie! Joey, stop! You wanna yeah. handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any. Try giving I him know up. a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because nobody else will help. Uh, let's go with. This because one. nobody else has offered to help you before. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're going to help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think. Oh. I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. The other end to her. You know what to do. Yank. Another slap on my head. I can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. That's still got a smart. You were right. I feel safe. Are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like. Like. At last, I have found you. No! Okay, you lied to me! No. What? It's it here! Is. You lied! What's that? Oh, crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away. Um, Stay away! Yeah, fly There's closer to it. There's nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come. With me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Fool. No one can save you now. Okay. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come. But then, you are mine. What is that thing? It's come to take me to hell! Just like it always said it would. Cobblestone. On the uh, demon. Converse. I shall give you but then. Um. How did you get here? Yeah. What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought. Once my business is concluded, can't you just? He has killed. His sins weigh him down, even as we ask yourself. Does he disturb mercy? Yes. You may think so. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. Um. What are your sins? Because what have you, have you done? done? I don't know. Please, God, I don't know. I didn't mean to kill those people. It's just I've been so scared and I don't know why. Please help. What is that in your pocket? Yeah, my flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it. When I was alive. What is that in your pocket? Yeah. yeah. What is that? My yeah. Nothing. I already asked that. What Jeez. is that? My yeah. Oh nothing. my God. It's just used to keep. Okay. 
So what can I do? He wants. I don't know. What is? I am hot and. Uh, Can I shall back with Why are you after For his all this time? He even after these many years of death. What is my fear? Yeah. yeah. Nothing. It's used to keep uh, Can I spot Can't you He has killed me. this ask yourself. Yeah. You may think you have. The deacon is carrying, and the deacon could this be? Symbolic. Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask. My flask. Just do it. But, but I. Why not? Because. You want to be free of that demon? You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still. That is not enough. Beware, Mort. The sins this man carried with him are still tainting this. Touch them and they will taint you. I am content with taking my quarry, but I have to take this man's sins upon yourself, and I shall be forced to take you do not want. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace and be troubled no more. Okay then. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time. It's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died. They killed themselves because of me. Um... It's all right. No, yeah. it's not all right. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. Maybe you yeah. can still redeem yourself. Maybe, eventually. But not right now. Yeah. You see, no. I was a religious man once. Before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye. And thanks. Alrighty then. Jesus Christ, kid, you all right? Yeah, yeah. What took you so- It got a mm, little complicated. complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Mm. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. I'm just glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Uh, it was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. Blackwell Legacy.
But that's the first game, folks. I guess I finished it. Okay, then. Um, yeah, I guess tomorrow, if I want to... Uh, actually, no. First week of October, we are going into the next Blackwell Legacy. Well, the next Blackwell game. So, um, yeah, these will be uploaded to YouTube. Thanks for watching, all by the way. Um, yeah. Those who are watching from YouTube, uh, drop by Twitch sometime. I do stream on Fridays at 11 p.m. Mountain Central Time. Um, yeah. I do have a bit of a issue with my internet, so I apologize for that. So, yeah. I'm trying to fix that, so we'll get to that sooner or later. Anyway, um, you guys have a good night. Um, yeah, this game was a surprisingly shorter than I thought it was going to be. I just basically stretched it out longer than I should have. Um, I do have to say, I do, I did enjoy the game for its art style and everything. And yeah, here's the people who did the voices for those characters. As the game kind of um, continues, yeah, you kind of learn about the other characters, but still. Um, I'm actually going to um, do a little research here soon here in a little while and I'll check and see uh, what story I can get behind on what's going on in the second seer in the second game which I have to look up because I these games are so like out of whack timelines timeline wise so I have to figure out everything Bob. Just Bob. Um, there's hundreds of confused oh, spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help him. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. And that was Blackwell Legacy. The game automatically shut itself off. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the game. So, um, thanks for watching and all that. So, I'll talk to you guys all next Friday, most likely. Um, I think the second game we follow her... I, we follow Rosa's aunt, I believe. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.